Boy Young, that dragon logo you got, I, I dig that, man. It's unique. Where'd you get it from? In this film, we lead our new audience in with Cole, who is a new character. Cole Young is the audience's perspective into this crazy Mortal Kombat story. Your marking comes from your lineage. He is of the lineage of the great Hanzo Hasashi, the scorpion himself. So his character journey is about discovering the true power that's within him. And that comes about by how they find their arcanas, what are the things that trigger them to get their powers. To me, that character was so important because he embodies everything that made Scorpion so incredibly enticing and such a great fighter. But he just doesn't know it yet. I'm looking for Sonya Blade. I'm Sonya. If you know Mortal Kombat, then you know Sonya Blade. She is a general. You guys are military. Special Forces. She was recruited by Jax to be part of the Special Forces unit. You've been chosen to fight for something known as Mortal Kombat. I give the creators a lot of credit because they built a game that, at the time, was pushing boundaries left and right. She's a boss. She's a bowler. She doesn't suffer fools. It's so rare that a really strong, badass female character comes up and is in reach. Knife. Sonya is just brute strength. You don't know if you like her or hate her. She can be antagonistic and she can be gruff, and I like that. <laughs> She's got a taste for blood, for sure. Sunshine. Who are you? It's Kano. Kano? Kano what? Kano, none of your fucking business. Kano's never a good guy in the film. He's an opportunist. He's a mercenary with the Black Dragon Clan. Arms dealer. Murder for hire. Scum of the earth. He's certainly no stranger to murder. He's certainly no stranger to fighting. They want to dance. <laughs> He's a guy you love to hate. Go on then, take it. You're so close. Just take it. Take it! He's a little rougher than Han Solo, and he's a little meaner, but th I think that's part of the fun. Okay, that's far enough, MC Hammer. You just shot a fireball out of your hand. Does this mean I'm getting superpowers at some point? Kano often says the Arcana is a superpower, but really, it's a physical manifestation of an inner strength. Fat, lazy pig. What did you say? Terrible fighter. But for Kano, it comes out of this bubbling rage that's always there. Sit down, shut up, and pass me a fucking egg roll! It comes out in the form of this laser that comes out of his eye and destroys everything in his path. That was it, wasn't it? The prosthetics have a, a progression throughout the film in terms of Reptile leaving his mark on me. That gets worse and worse. By the time the Arcana comes out, it's it's really half his face. It really adds to who he is, as he's just this sort of disfigured, gnarled, um, you know, brute. Ah, laser beam! It's better than fireballs, you pussy! <laughs> Sub-Zero is not just a villain, he's a very intelligent creature. And he always has a strategy.
We are on the precipice of victory, but we must strike now. Changsheng ordered Sub Zero and the Dark Warriors to eliminate potential fighters. When Sub Zero freezes Jax's arm, he sort of puts him to his knees. So there's this sort of horrible quality where he makes people submit and then he kills them. It's not about power, it's about strategy. You can have ice power, fire power, but at the end of the day, your brain is the most powerful thing. I am Sub-Zero. It's all in the eyes, brother. <laughs> it's all in the eyes. The interesting thing about playing a video game character is that you have to walk this line of being larger than life, but also making that person real. Come on, you got this. I think Jax's arcana is intestinal fortitude, and strength, and bravery. So that comes out in his arms. He becomes the strongest man in the world because that's how he feels inside. Hey, big boy! We just wanted the audience to enjoy seeing Jax doing what he does best and really taking his arms on a ride for the first time. Thunder God himself, Lord Raiden, who has been overseeing Earth's battle against our world for multiple generations. One more victory, and Outworld will gain control over Earth forever. I thought Raiden is a very still and then calm person, but then Simon gave me the idea, so maybe you can do more passionate and emotional. There is nothing for you here, only death. Go, be with your family. This is a very important thing for Raiden, and he's always preparing to the next fight. My costume feels like a Japanese kimono, and uh, I love my heart. That's the symbol of Raiden. We decided to up the ante with the hat and not make it out of straw, but make it out of metal. And that was quite a challenge to get a hat that wasn't so heavy. So it's actually in fiberglass with metallic elements in it that polishes up and it looks like a metal hat. I'll assemble a new list of champions. You must find them. has a mission. His goal is a revenge. When Sub-Zero killed his family, that energy created Scorpion's Arcana, the fire, anger, and rage. Scorpion, the greatest warrior to ever walk the Earth, has been locked away in the Nether Realm for generations. Not exactly the bottom of hell, but floating somewhere between and waiting for the chance to return to this world. 
I'm the same guy and the same body, but totally different look. 15th century in Japan, traditional kimono and the wig, and also the scorpion. Scorpion. Scorpion has a lot of faces in the game, but we have to create the original Scorpion for this movie. I could enjoy both characters. Get over here! Chang Song has been around for hundreds of years and he goes back to the original game. Shang Tsung is the ringleader. Shao Kahn was someone we sort of talked about, but Shang Tsung felt like, given the history, we sort of wanted to stay with him. He's not only a shapeshifter, he's also a soul eater. There are parts of the costume, you know, like around his waist, that are kind of scaly and reptilian. Then there are parts of his armor that are so imposing, like the breastplate and the shoulder armor, which is akin to a panther. On his breastplate also, you get to see the souls all kind of imprinted upon it and, and cast in the armor. And that is to strike fear in, in any of his uh, foes and enemies. The undoing of the prophecy has begun. Kang's the spiritual center of this film. He believes in the Earth's champion's cause more than anybody, more than Raiden himself. We must start training now before our mortal enemies come for us. Liu Kang, who's one of the chosen ones that has dedicated his life to fighting for the fate of the universe. You must fight without question. The fate of Earth is in our hands. A lot of his style comes from the fact that he's one of the chosen that has discovered his Akana. Pain is the ultimate catalyst. Liu Kang's power being fire comes from this vengeance place, but there's another kind of level within it. My costume is very simple to begin with, but it's got a lot of meaning behind it. I think if you're a new fan to the movie or to the series, you might not get some of the intricacies that are a part of my character. But if you get enraptured by the movie, and you look into the history of the lore and get sucked into this world, I think you'll find lots of little surprises. There will be no mercy. is Kung Lao, descendant of the great Kung Lao, the grand champion of the Order of Light. I grew up watching the film and then later on played the game. Kung Lao is originally part of the Shaolin Monastery, so he's been a monk. He's very quiet and he's a very mysterious character. Kung Lao. He's beautiful, spiritual, and he just brings a real zen to the proceeding. When he fights, he just explodes. He has a very strong connection with Liu Kang, his cousin. So wherever Liu Kang goes, he kind of follows. I came up with a couple new moves to how to use and implement the hat, how to fight with the hat. 
then I took a lot of moves from the game because I wanted to stay true to the character itself and not let the audience and the fans down. Flawless victory. vicious and evil warrior of Outworld. She has this hideous, detachable jaw. The tar carton teeth come out and the slippery tongue comes out. She's in this beautiful body of this princess, but then she's got all of this horrible stuff that makes her different. There's complexity to the character there. Your death has no worth. Her portals in the game are fantastic, where she could just pop around. I just wanted her to feel like a pit bull on him and just really actually set Cole back as if, like, no, she's really powerful. So, back off. Hi there, here's today's daily fact. Did you know that the deadliest actors with the all-time most kills in movies are Mila Jovovich, around 1,300, and Jet Li, over 1,000, with Schwarzenegger, Stallone and Statham way down the list with a count of a mere 7-800? Remember to click below to subscribe or on the side for more great content.